Um, how about we start off with the pledge? To the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thanks if our deputy clerk could take attendance, that would be great. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to the uh, workshop meeting of Tuesday, February 23rd, 2016. And on a roll call, Councilman Troy? Question. Councilman Diveny? Councilman Valentine? Here. Councilman Batari? Here. Supervisor Stewart? Here. Okay. Thank you very much, guys. So this is a workshop agenda, and um, however, just a heads up, um, I actually don't see Joe here, but our... Our head of um, the sewer department has asked us to vote on one matter, which is important in terms of the timing. So when we get to that, um, we'll talk about it. Um, but essentially, workshop agenda, just a reminder that we're continuing our public hearing on the, on the, the BTX production code question next week on Tuesday. And, um, and also, the two weeks after that, there'll be another public hearing about a code change that our building department has proposed. So it's just a couple of heads ups. Um, if you, if there's no other uh, questions or comments, I'd like to just take a look at the agenda. It's pretty simple stuff and then we'll come back to any other discussion we need to. There's Councilman Dibbany. So the first two items are, are um, social commemoration items. One is the annual commemoration of Black History Month, which is in February. And encourage everybody to take a look at that and read it and offer any amendments you want for next week. And the second one is the Irish Cultural Heritage Month, which we celebrate annually as well. And of course, with the parade coming up and other spring events, um, these items are timely and a good reminder of who we are and where we came from and, and, and what's great about Orangetown. So, uh, and I've asked our Deputy Supervisor Alan Riff to try to get us some individuals for next week who could receive these proclamations on behalf of their respective communities. And anybody who wants to make suggestions in that regard is welcome to as well. Number three is the Mosquito Control Services, which is a regular item. Uh, this has the, the health department through a shared service provides for a fee the mosquito control in the detention basins in the town. In the some of the concerns that people have with mosquitoes this year, and we've had in the county, we've gone through that in the past, so it is important, you know, that we're doing this. It also used to be free from the county. Now we, we pay for the, for the service, but it's still an important thing to have for the town. And it, it's, it, thanks for saying that, Dennis. It certainly, um, it's more cost effective to have them do it still with the fee, you know, than to have a, a licensed applicator do it. So it's a, it's a public health measure. Number four is the reappointment of Skip Vizzetti as chair of the sanitation committee. And we thank him for his role in that, in the licensing and regulation of garbage carters. Number five is adding two more people who should have been on the list in the first place, but to the Health Advisory Services Committee. Uh, these, this one committee for some reason, the list we had didn't have two of the most obvious people who should be on it, which is Steve Harris and Glenn Albin from South Orange Town Ambulance. So we corrected that. Number six is the annual contract with Candle, which provides mental health and drug abuse prevention awareness services on behalf of the town of Orange Town to the local youth through the school system. Number seven, and number eight and number nine are all public event support measures involving the showmobile and other town services to these important events, whether it's the uh, Penguin Plunge in Nyack coming up soon or... Uh, actually, no, that's this is coming up soon. The, the, there was one up in uh, North Rockland recently. Yeah, that was a really big turnout for that one. So, but Barbara Noyes is our South Nyack police officer who really champions that. And I know I'm going to be promoting it on the radio 
and I encourage everybody to come out and if you don't want to jump in the water, at least uh, encourage those who are. I don't jump in the water personally, but I think it's fun to come out and support that. And they take donations right on site there, which is great. Number 10 are certificates of registration for sewer work. Number 11 is the GHD contract to collect and analyze flow data. And this is important for our sewer department's compliance with the DEC and, and showing the effectiveness of all the work that's been going on relining sewers. Um, so my understanding is in this one, I thought Joe was going to be here, um, but he wanted us to vote on it tonight. And it's an 11,000 and change contract, which as I understand it, has been used before periodically but maybe he'll walk in, in a few minutes. Number 12 is the Highway Department Open House, which is coming up soon, on May 14th. Usually it's my first sunburn of the year. The sun always shines on the Orangetown Highway Department's Open House. Number 13 is the Flying Dutchman 5K Run. So without Tom Moore, or maybe Tom, we'll see Tom out there. He and I usually are out there together. And that's happening on March 12th. Number 14 is the Grand Fondo Cycling Marathon, and I thank our Park Superintendent Eric and our Police Department, Highway Department, everybody else who works together to to um, kind of manage what is really a, a, an enormous <laughs> event with all these cyclists coming through Orangetown, and they've done a good job. Number 15 is a new fire hydrant approval, and number 16 is a personnel matter related to Alan Seaback, oh, greenskeeper. Those are, it's a, it's a fairly modest agenda, which doesn't mean there isn't plenty of things going on in town, and we have, certainly have work to do on, on some other items to get them to the town agenda. I wanted to note, since I'm talking now, and I'll shut up in a minute, um, in your packets tonight, um, as promised, are a, uh, is a folder with background information of three different lobbying groups who are enthusiastically offering their services to the town. Um, as you're aware, Cindy Schenker and Wilson Elser, they, they, um, Cindy started her own company, so her information's in there as is Wilson Elser's, and um, Chris Del Judas, who was also with Wilson Elser at one point, is with a different company now. So I asked him, since we know him and he knows Orangetown, to provide us some information about their services. And I just would like the town board to review this material and indicate any questions or, or comments you might have via email or discussion, because one of the things that we want to do is have a, uh, a lobbyist on the towns. Are you bringing them in for the presentation? Well, I'm I'm open to proposals. If you'd like me to, I'll arrange that. I know that I know that they'd be happy to. So, um, if if you guys want to move ahead on that, I could just plan it for our next workshop and and and, and get them in here. Hopefully, all on the same night. Uh, but look at the information because if there's one that you just don't even want to hear more from or something like that, then then we can save them the, the trip. And we can always go out and look for more. I mean, there's, there's a lot of lobbyists around, so. Yes, yeah. Why not see what these have to offer? So, you know. There's, 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 there's a lot of them, you know, and I feel like a little bit, it's just sort of, who we already know or who we're in contact with. If we put out a general call for lobbying services, I'm sure we'd get a lot more. But it seemed like, you know, we had Cindy, and um, but there's been kind of a break with that, and it's a time to consider our options a little bit. All right, so that's, that's that. And Joe, if you could just come to the podium since you just walked in, we'll just keep you right on moving here. And. Uh, thank you for your quick footwork getting that resolution to us and to Kim so we could get it on the workshop agenda. If you could just describe 
um, you know, this small contract and, and what its purpose is so the town board can, I know you've asked us to vote tonight on it, which obviously is no big deal, but just tell us a little bit about it. Well, I appreciate you reviewing it on such short notice and uh, considering it for a vote tonight. This is part of our three-year multi-plan th to uh, remediate the sewers in Nyack uh, as far as infiltration and inflow. Um, we've done very well with the information we have so far. Uh, what we need to do is to report to the DEC by the end of every March on uh, how much removal we've attained to that point for the previous year. So last year, this is the consultant that we used who's familiar with our sewer system uh, and, and did the study and subsequently I put a report together to the DEC um, and they've been accepting our plan and our results. So it's a similar study, similar method that's going to be used to analyze um, the removal of the INI in the system as a result of the lining contract that we bid last year and completed last year. Correct, this is the biggest part of the order on consent, but there were numerous milestones uh, also attached to it that we've already attained, reported on, and we've been in compliance uh, w well ahead of schedule with each one of those milestones. But this is the biggest component. This is what they're really looking at, is that we can remove enough inflow and infiltration in the sewer system in Nyack to avoid uh, overflows at the pump station. So this is the second part of it, the second year. And again, you know, this year we're going to bid another contract and I'll have to submit a similar report next year also. Joe, the, the flow meters themselves that generate this data, it's the, this contract is for the analysis of the data, but is it, is, who actually puts those flow meters down in the sewer lines, and that's that's what your staff does, right? Or is that's THD right. We did. That we did. No, we installed the flow meters. So, so you've had them there for a certain portion of the year or whatever, and and now, and now there's all this data, right? And you need to kind of associate levels of flow with precipitation events and kind of see how the system's operating. That's right. We that had them really in interesting. about for about two months after the uh, lining contract was completed last year, and this is compared to the baseline that we established in 2012 prior to any of the lining being done. And did DHD do those analyses before as well? Well, they did the study last year. Right. So the 2012 anal or the data that we collected in 2012, we did that in-house. Gotcha. All right. Any questions from the town board about this particular item? This is up for a vote. Does anybody have any issues with approving it tonight? I'll make a motion to approve resolution number 10. Um, I'm sorry, is it number 10? Is it 11? Sorry. Number 11 this is the contract with GHD to provide the analysis of the flow data that Joe has requested. Do I have a second? So from Dimini, all in favor say aye. Aye. The ayes have it. Thank you very much, Joe. Thank you. Just um, a question for Eric to see where we're at as far as um, the replacement of the HVAC equipment up at the castle. Eric, thank you. So the, the question is about the HVA system at the castle. The, uh, the bid documents were all prepared, released, uh, advertised and released last week. Um, we have a walkthrough with potential bidders tomorrow and a bid opening is scheduled for next week. So I will let the board know as soon as you know, so, so what the results are, and we'll get moving on that. Um, but I think we, I think it was May 1st was the drop dead date for completion that we gave them in the bid specs. So that puts us well before air conditioning season, I think. So, Good. okay. Thank you. Yep. 
Any other questions? Letters for town business? Any, Jeff or Stefan, anything from your departments you need to? All right, we'll see no further business. Uh, I see no, nobody asking for anything else. I'll make a motion to uh, close this town meeting. Do I have a second? From Patari, all in favor say aye. aye. The ayes have it. Yeah, I was going to do those adjournments next week. Oh. So, so any names you want to add, by all means. I, I, no. I'll, I'll give this to Kim. I think she's collecting these forms. Thanks. All right, so the meeting is adjourned.